What is going on, everyone? Welcome back. So let's talk about Polygon because it broke out since we last talked about it. Um, so if you take a look at this low in July at 62 cents, you'll see that it got bought up really fast. So it got bought up from 62 cents to 105 within like a week. All right. And then it proceeded to climb up, set a higher low at 102, climb a bit more and then set one more higher low. And then now it's broken up. Right. When you take a look at these lows, you'll notice that each of these lows tested the 200 day moving average. Okay. Right there, right there and right there. Okay. So that tells me that on the way up, we probably want to keep an eye on this 200 day moving average. Okay. And another thing that I want you guys to uh, be aware of is the fact that every single time Polygon breaks out into a new all time high, it does exactly that. So take a look here when it set its low, it set a higher low and then it had a breakout, right? And you'll see that the all time high back then was right where my dashed line is around like four cents. And this went to like three, seven, right? So I'm sure a lot of people at this time thought that, okay, like this is the time that we're going to break out. Right. But no, what happened? It had one last pullback. Okay. And you can take a look here as well, right? Set a low set, a higher low, and then it had that move up. Right. And I'm sure same exact thing. A lot of people thought, okay, this is the time where we break out, but nope, we had one more low. All right. So we want to be aware of this possibility, right? It's not guaranteed to happen, but we want to be aware that it could happen, right? Because we don't want to get shaken out if it does happen, right? And if you take a look at the FIB levels of these, and now I don't, I don't use FIB levels all the time, but I don't believe in black and white thinking. So if something proves itself to be useful, I'll use it. So if you look at the FIB level from the low to the all time high, you'll see that each and every time, it stops at that 0.786 FIB level, okay? So right here, you see that 0.786, it whipped to it, then it went back down, right? Same thing over here, look at this. You zoom in, that blue line, that's 0.786 level, right? And we take a look over here, where we are right now, you can see that it hit exactly at that 0.786 level, right? So we just wanna be aware that if we do see a pullback, if we do have one more low, we don't want to panic sell, right? We don't want to get shaken out because if this does happen, if we do get one more low, that low is probably going to be the last low before we move up, right? Because that, that was the case each and every time, right? We had that low and then we had a breakout. We had that final low, then we had a breakout, okay? So when we talk about Polygon's tech, I do think uh, roll-up scaling solutions like Arbitrum and Optimism are probably going to gain a lot more traction in the next few years, especially because Vitalik himself said that the, uh, the future of Ethereum is roll-ups. Right. But if we take a look at what's happening right now, because that's what matters, right? We can see that the TVL of Polygon is still what, 2x the TVL, the total value locked of Arbitrum. Right. And it's over 10x the total value locked of Optimism. Right. And if you look at the, the protocols built on Polygon, we have 102 for Polygon, 39 for Arbitrum and four for Optimism. Right. So and I mean, even putting metrics aside, like even if you wanted to buy Arbitrum or Optimism, you can't, right? Because there is no native token. So you can buy Polygon, right? And right now it's the number one uh, scaling solution for Ethereum. So that says a lot, right? So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe if you like this type of content and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.